All right, guys, welcome back. This is part four of the International 9370 restoration. You guys seem to like the other videos, so I guess we'll make another one. Today, the plan is... We're going in to uh, meet the paint guy. It's gonna be fun. We're not gonna do it ourselves. We got a guy lined yeah. up. He's good at what he does. His touch is gonna be a million times better than we could do to this thing. So we're gonna let the pro handle it. So we're gonna fire this up and he gets to drive it to town. So hang tight, enjoy the ride. Let's get on the road. We're good. I mean, on Zotto, probably not before. Oh, there's a doorbell. Hang on. A weird. Um, Ian? Buddy! Hello! Ready to ready to do this? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. We're here at Odds Autos. This is the laboratory with uh, Ian Auden, aka Dr. Chop. Ian from Odden's Autos here, the man of many names, Dr. Chop, the mad scientist. We are in the lab here. This is where the science side of the jobs come in, mixing and matching all the paint. All right, guys. Well, here's the team. We're gonna hammer this out this week. Curse you, train! Every time. <laughs> Don't say that in front of the children. No! We're right next to the railroad. This happens a lot. Well, guys, this is the crew. Ian's gonna be the master. He's gonna show us the ropes. We're gonna wait for the stupid train. <laughs> hey, uh, how are you doing, buddy? Not bad. How about you guys? Just dreadfully awful. Oh, it's awful. Did you see my finger? All right, guys. Well, this is the crew. This is Odd's shop. You guys saw his place. Um, he's the master. Leg arms and I are basically just gonna do what he tells us to do. All it's gonna stuff. be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna we be don't have glory. to do anything. He just tells us what to do. So well, we, we're we gonna do a lot of the grunt stuff, and he's just gonna handle the good stuff. And we're gonna make that truck look mint when it's done. And I just really thank Ian for his for his services. This thank is an you. awesome, awesome deal so here. So, anyways, you. guys, let's get to this. We got stuff to do. So, guys, I gotta admit something to you. I made a major mistake last week with this hood. I was changing the springs on it because the old springs were rotted off. One side was already gone, the cable was broke, the other side the spring was pre-damaged. So I got new springs for it. I put them on though I thought was correct. They were a little different. I started lifting the hood forward with them on. Both springs popped off. I couldn't catch the hood and it tipped and slammed to the ground. If you look right here, unfortunately this beautiful International Harvester logo got dings right there and it cracked the casting right here and right there so I felt terrible it's been eating me up so much that that happened we started scouring the internet looking for that logo on that emblem and it turns out that's an odd one that only was made a couple years this the end the very last year that that was made in fact <coughs> supposedly they discontinued the IH in that logo in 86 which is the year this truck was manufactured so this is probably one of the last trucks to ever have that. Again, I feel terrible. The hood's okay, that's not. So I contacted the guys at Decorative Industrial Plating, Dip It Now. They're down in Helena, Montana, which isn't too far down the road. And they sent them some pictures and they said they think they can take care of it for us. So thanks guys. It's gonna make me feel a lot better knowing that that's restored. We're gonna take it off right now, get it in the mail, send it to them as fast as it can so they can do their magic. There's definitely some damage done to it, so we'll see what they can do. I don't want to break these. Got it. Got it. So we're peeling off everything that's going to be in the way when he goes to paint this thing. Emblems, latches, 
door handles, leg arms, old brain dust and chow. Moth in it? Yeah, that one has moths growing in behind the lens. What? So Ian spotted scarring going on in our fender wells here. And I guess that's when the rocks fling off the rubber, hit the fender well, and create little micro cracks into the the gel coated on the outside. So, he's gotta take it down to the fiberglass and start from the ground up to get rid of that. Otherwise, it'll show in the final paint job. Fortunately, that's something Ian noticed because if we were doing this paint job, we would've caught that, we would've just painted it and he would've seen that. That's why you have these guys do it. I can't let leg arms wear all the cool shirts. Step it up a little bit. Ian's kick butt air filtration system. And it's awesome. Built it's odd and awesome. Built that. He built that himself. Myself, my own. Hand. He'll sell it for two hundred million dollars. Just, just shy. Just shy. back at it next day. These guys are sanding all the prime stuff down. I'm gonna climb up top. I'm gonna pull off the horns, the marker lights, all kinds of stuff on top of the cab. I've gotta get that cleaned up too. Bye. this truck earlier we noticed that the horn bracket had a bunch of goop around it figured it was probably leaking water in there when we look closer to get ready to paint uh, you can see here it's all broke out so the guys were looking at finding a way to put a piece of aluminum underneath there possibly weld it or rivet it sandwich something tight I decided the monkey was a little over the top so uh, we're back to this shirt <laughs> Because this is broke out, at one point somebody must have pushed on this, pulled on the horn, and it fractured. They had it all gooped up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece, we're going to throw it underneath, push it up, and I pre-drilled holes. I'm going to take the aluminum welder and weld those, and then I'm going to push all this down, weld it all up. Then we'll come around, grind it all up, put Bondo or whatever fill, filler we want, smooth it all out, and then that way this plate here will support the bracket for the horn, and you won't have the fracture moments. That's what we're hoping for. While the truck's drying, we're gonna polish some aluminum. And that's about a full lot of work or really any, Whoa. any wet fucking time. You guys see that? You can 
see this tank right here is getting somewhere, thanks to Dr. Uh, Chop and Leg Arms. But we got this one to do here. Not there yet. So basically what's going on here guys, the top of this hood was originally just one paint scheme, but according to Dr. Chop here, it's got the setup here for an SS Chevelle, as you can see these uh, kind of hood scoops on here, it's raised. So uh, he had the bright idea of, let's put some paint on top of that and make it look good. Kind of our own special touch. Custom. Yeah. So, so Dr. Chop's gonna do his magic and we're just trying to figure out exactly do we wanna do orange on the top or dark brown on the top or orange around the sides. You just start a bowl. Yeah, start a bowl. Okay, decide now and then I'll make the video and then it'll be done and then you guys will know. Then you'll, you, you, you chose right. Yeah, good job guys. It's paint mixing time. LA 1201. I'm gonna put 587.9 grams. Not a drop more. Careful. Nice. Yes, that's close. Someone's done that before. It, it's crazy, and especially once you get into like metallic color or anything like that, how many colors actually go in to make one color. That's amazing. Basically the first coat, he's gonna do it probably two more on here. Uh, I guess it's uh, part of the procedure is do, do about three. What did we just make? We just made the stripe. And also we added our own little touch to it. Should we tell them? Uh, we can wait till later. Wait till later. Yeah. We put, yeah. We put pearl in it. Oh, we put pearl in it? <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, we just got her taped off. Orange is on, it's ready for the brown now. Dark brown, not light brown, dark brown. Dr. Chop's got something mixed up right here. It's about to go down and it's about to go brown. Brown, might need a change of pants after this. Yeah, he already changed his pants. So let's spray this on there. Brown! Okay, there's light at the end of the tunnel. We are on the third color now, fourth color. We're just going down the wrong tunnel is all. <laughs> it's the wrong tunnel. <laughs> so, uh, dark brown's on, 
orange is on. Now we're going for the light brown, I think. Light, light brown. The light brown, and that's like the whole top of the cab and everything, but as you can see, there's a lot of this that doesn't need light brown on it, so that's why all that's on there. And we need a volunteer to come and unwrap this thing when it's done, because we don't like opening presents, that's so. That's the best part of the whole <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a pitchfork, but I unwrap it. Okay. <laughs> It's officially time. We're gonna find out whether we pay Ian or not. So, anyway, this let's, let's unwrap this thing and I see got, what it looks like. I got a couple gallons of paint stripper in the back. But you would. What is what are you doing right there? That's that one. What? No? Huh? Can I? Yeah. Let's do it. All the paint is done. Now he's putting the clear coat on. This will help guarantee the integrity of the paint as well as keep UV protection on the truck. It's looking pretty good. Once this is done, let's walk around this thing. Can you say pretty truck? Okay guys, are you ready? Isn't that cool? Well, that concludes this part. Now we gotta assemble it. So stay tuned for the next episode coming. That'll be the assembly and then probably after that the reveal. But this is looking nice. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. It's gonna be a cool truck. This is exciting stuff. So take care guys, God bless.